Hello all my friends, welcome back to the Branscom YouTube channel. Today I'm going to give you a little history lesson on the brand of guitars known as Agile. Uh, I bought one used a few months ago and uh, let me tell you, this guitar is the best low-end Les Paul that I've probably ever bought in my life. It uh, stands up to any Epiphone or any kind of you know low-end style guitar that I've ever played. And I don't, I, I've been researching and I you know, haven't found a whole lot on the brand as far as like videos or anything like that is concerned so I figured I would do one today uh, just based on the research that I've gathered and kind of help you guys out a little bit for anybody that's curious. So Agile Guitars was founded by Kurt Zentmeyer, the owner of Rondo Music and Rondo Music is an American owned and operated family business that was founded in 1959. Rondo Music sells a variety of musical instruments including electric guitars, acoustic guitars, guitar amps, banjos, and a variety of over mostly stringed instruments. The Agile trademark was founded by Kurt in 1999. He started importing LP copies mostly from what I've seen including the one I own from Korea under the trademark name of Agile. He wanted to have Les Pauls that were similar in style to that of Gibson's, but also wanted to be a little more original, hence the different style headstock and the shorter cutaways. These guitars were only sold by Rondo Music. The first model built was the Les Paul 2000. Soon after, requests started pouring in for more models with different features and upgraded parts, so the LP2500 and LP2800 were made and these models were available from 2000 until 2003. In the summer of 2003, Agile started making some changes. Most notably, the LP name was changed from LP to AL. This was also when the headstock was changed from a pointier open book design to a more classier looking rounded design, which I personally prefer. Here are just a few more models, and some of these finishes are just absolutely gorgeous. They also did more styles than just Les Pauls. Here are a few different styles that they have done. And here in recent years, it seems as if they're trying to appeal more to the metal community by having guitars that are uh, more super strat-like and uh, have more than just six strings. They have seven strings and eight strings and stuff like that. So Agiles are still in production, but from what research I've gathered, it seems that as of 2019, Kurt is in the process of selling one of his two buildings and is toying with the idea of selling the Agile brand altogether. But you can still find these guitars all over the used market for very good prices and you can still find them new on Rondo's website as well. And to be honest, the one I own is probably the best bang for your buck Les Paul I've ever owned. I would highly recommend playing one if you ever get the opportunity. I'll leave some links in the description to a few other uh, YouTube videos that you can find with people playing Agile guitars, but I'm also going to do my own uh, review and demo of the one I own, which is the AL3010. Well guys, that just about does it for this history lesson of Agile Guitars. I really hope you enjoyed. Uh, I'm going to be doing a, a sound and demo review um, for the uh, Agile that I have, the 3010. Uh, so I'll put that in a separate video, but I um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and please hit the notification bell to get notified whenever I upload a new video. I'll see you guys at the next one. Thank you.